This is literally the fourth time I've tried filming this. I'm not even going to make my greeting because I, I don't even know if it's going to be worth it. So, um, long story short, my morning routine is an hour and a half. And I overslept just enough where it, it's pointless to, you know, go out busking at this point. I'm still bringing my accordion with me because I might get a good half hour in there beforehand. But even just going to pick up my mail um, at the post office and everything, I I'm going to need game night because art fair. Like, yesterday I went to go pick up my mail and... Um, in the course of picking up my mail, I, um, shit was already, like, so art fair crazy downtown with people setting up their tents the day before because you have to do that. Uh, so then what happens is, uh, um, I was only able to get what's in the box because I don't have one of the bigger boxes, um, which is fine. Um, usually I get to the post office in time, so I picked up what's in the box, and in the box was also a, uh, a ticket saying that I had a package that was too big for my box, so, uh, it's probably birthday present since, um, I only ordered literally one thing, and between this and the, uh, the Amtrak fare to, um, Detroit for Saturday, uh, this is like this, so, uh, yeah, like a $25 round trip train fare to and from Detroit, uh, plus a t-shirt from the band Grooving in Green, which is one of two bands since the formation of March Violets, named after a March Violets song. If you know the other one, please leave your response in a comment below, and I will tell you whether or not you're right after I post the, you know, after the video's been posted. But, uh, but yeah, he messaged me pretty much right after I placed the order, eh, later that day, whatever, and said, hey, you requested a men's medium. Unfortunately, they were out of men's mediums, so I had the option for either a men's small or a men's large or to be refunded. And I figured, well, you know, I often order a small, so um, send the small if it is somehow too small. Um, I don't know. I'm dropping weight anyway, so, um, I do, because I'm s just that gay, I do like my t-shirts a little bit on the snug side, like, not tight, but just a little bit on the fitted side, so, the small is fine right now, um, it will be a bit looser as I continue to lose weight, but that's not the important part. The important part is, I don't know if he usually does this when people order t-shirts from the Bandcamp site, um, but... He included a couple other little things with this. I don't know, like I said, I don't know if this is what they usually do or if this is just like kind of to um, um, make up for not having a medium, but it was very sweet and I thank him very much for including a button. And we've got one of the little cloth patches that you sew on. Uh, this is a little bit smaller than I usually like my patches, but that's okay. I'm gonna put it so I'm gonna find somewhere to put it. Maybe on my chartreuse jacket, or maybe on, you know, because it's a shade of green, or maybe I'll just put it on my purple jacket, just because, because why not, right? And also a sticker, and ordering the t-shirt did include the uh, Rebirth EP that they did, so I'm gonna put on jeans and my boots and head downtown, definitely hit game night, maybe pull in a half hour of busking, which, if I'm lucky, will give me a whole dollar. A whole shiny, crisp dollar. Or maybe I'll be extra lucky if it's shiny and crisp, but yeah. I got things to do. Definitely game night, because this is art fair. I need game night. I don't care if I'm even there for half an hour after all the bullshit of not just art fair set up from yesterday, but also today, because like I said, this was, this is literally the fourth time I've tried filming the first part of, um, my, uh, my art fair busker vlogging. <laughs> this is literally the fourth time, because the, the, the phone just didn't want to save the other three parts. Well, actually, actually the first part, the first time I did, tried that, I accidentally deleted it. So that was me. That was my bad. 
But yeah, the the last two times, my my phone's just like fuck you, and I'm just like no fuck you phone. So uh so yeah, cross your fingers for me that everything's gonna go okay enough today, and I will see you when I get around to filming the next part of this. Oh, I am back home, and in case you did not see on my uh, my music page for Facebook, I got. Zero um, busking in today before game night. Uh, the short version is even though I left with what could have been sufficient time for half an hour of busking and uh, before leaving for game night, by the time I did get downtown, because of art fair traffic, there was maybe five minutes after I take my accordion out of my shopping cart and everything. And of course, uh, I wasn't even walking especially fast um, between the post office and then back to the bus stop for uh, game night, but I also ended up twisting my ankle. Yes, the one that I've twisted nearly every year since 1999. So, please don't, no, not on that ankle, not, not. So yeah, I am probably going to go to um, urgent care tomorrow, and if there's decent enough time after I get out of urgent care, I might go out to uh, to art fair tomorrow for some uh, for just a couple hours of busking, but. You know, just because I'll be sitting, right? But if for some reason there is not sufficient time, then I'm just going to uh, go along with my plan for after art fair, which was to um, stop at Kroger and get a few things for um, the cupcakes for my birthday at Necto. Not just the, um, the, the baking mix for the cupcakes, but the, uh, the ingredients for my coconut pecan frosting, uh, oh, you can just get that in a jar. Well, yeah, I could, but I'd be allergic to it because it's got soy in it, so, no, I make my own. So I've got two packages. This one, um, this one would be from, uh, Curious Cat 1920, and as is the other one, wait. This one says two of two, this one says one of two, so I'm gonna... I barely saw the top of that one. Now, I am fairly certain that this is a sprain and not just a bad twist because of how swollen it was when I got back from game night. And there was, like, very little walking. Like, I did not get up from my chair at game night except once to go refill my water bottle. And then, uh, and then my friend... Emily gave me a ride back, and so then I like took the stairs up to the up to my unit from the front of the building, and uh, and yeah, oh, okay, um, so yeah, that was it, and my ankle is really goddamn swollen. Did we have a good look from here? Looks especially bad on this side, but I'm not gonna mess around with the camera. Um, so first we've got a card. Oh, that's pretty with the horses. I'm gonna turn on the light. Okay, yeah, I'm at a good angle for that. <laughs> Please stop! Ah, uh, happy birthday. Let your dreams run wild and be brave enough to follow. And we... Okay, so this is a little, uh... Oh, St. Joseph's Indian School. We serve in change Oh, I really want to look that up because there's a lot of in schools for native kids that do whatever they can to erase indigenous culture from the consciousness of the indigenous population, so. Tarot of Pagan Cats. 
And I do have a black cat tarot as well. So yeah, I'll look at this one in a sec. Um, this is number two of two. Uh, Joanna Nelson Art Studio, Instagram, Joanna Nelson Studio, uh, Etsy Shop, uh, Joanna Nelson Studio, J O A N N A. There we go. Oh, 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 what's this? Oh, 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 this is cute. Catland Oracle deck. Ah, titties, titties. Oh my gosh, it looks like they're all black cats looking at the back. Oh, I'll look at it. Oh, okay, so that's it. One tarot and one oracle deck. I, oh my. Okay, so now that I've got a chance, um, I, I'm sorry if my comments about the cards sounded a bit iffy. I just, um, that's, uh, that's, that's one of the issues in the U.S. that I'm, I'm really concerned about because I, uh, uh, well, it first came to my consciousness, I'll say, I'll put it that way, um, rather than specifically because of, but, well, you know, it came into my consciousness when I was, uh, my high school boyfriend was, uh, native, and, uh, his parents grew up on a reservation and all, so, um, Carters, Carters. Oh, this is cute. This is cute. Oh, okay, yeah, this is a Le, Le Scarborough deck. Okay, so it looks like it's just got your little basic info from uh, the Le Scarborough decks. Catching a fish spread to see figure B on page two. Okay. Uh, they have so many beautiful decks. Unfortunately, they usually use a really, really inexpensive card stock. But that's really my only complaint, honestly, with the with Scarborough decks. Yes. Oh, Los Scarborough decks. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You've got Sphinx Cats with Moon. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a really cute interpretation of the Fool. It's so cute, and it's a calico, and I've I've had calicos. <laughs> uh, actually, my old cat Vermin, I I really worried about her some days. She's she was she was so sweet, but not very bright. But then I got Mr. Midnight, um, and uh, you know, obviously before his kidneys failed, but um, he uh, he was perplexed by the treat ball. He really was. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful cutie. Beautiful Sphinx cutie. And appropriate. Except the, uh, the Sphinx cat, the, the cat breed, that originated in Canada. In fact, like an early name for the, for the breed Sphinx was, uh, the Canadian hairless. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. Gosh, this is gonna be cute. This is gonna be cute. Cute, 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 cute. Couple might be. Oh, oh, that's cute. That's cute. Weaving with a spider web. Hey, Nigel. I don't want you on my lap either right now because my ankle is in so much pain. Dance, 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 dance. I'm a kitty cat. Oh, oh, giant eyeballs. Okay, they're not all black, but it seems most of them are. Oh, yeah, Village, though. One of the ones on the back, but... Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Hey, Nigel. <laughs> Message. This, this just, this just reminds me of, like, how these cats just don't get the message. I've been home. And I've had to stand up for some things, and, you know, and so when I'm trying to get back to the couch or, you know, something, or get up from the couch, it's like, I want to spend as little time on this foot as possible, that's how much it hurts, but the cats, they won't get out of my way, and I, I've, I've been, like, even in the 
couple of hours I've been home, like there have been a couple moments where I have been like near tears just from the pain and the cats won't move out of my way. And I hate shouting at them, but I had to shout a couple times just to, just to be able to move. Oh, that's cute. That's so cute. Oh, <laughs> just a kitty. Oh my gosh, these, these are great. These are great. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I, I love this deck. This is a great deck. Oh, God, I shall right. Oh, <laughs> Dream Maker is so, this is, these, these are gorgeous. Oh, 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 right, this is on the back, too. Ball energy. And I love that it's a kitten. I love that it's a kitten. Because that, that is just, oh, <gasps> kitten senses. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, thank you so much. I really love this deck, too. This is just... These are just great. I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna get some, some some decent use with this deck. And I, I do like the, the, the Terror of Pagan Cats. Um, yeah, I've, I've said before that I tend to uh, prefer... Um, Oracle decks, they're, um, I like the fact that they don't have a, uh, a set, um, arrangement of cards, you know, whereas, uh, whereas with the tarot decks, um, there are a couple variations, like I know some decks will have, um, coins instead of pentacles, like, generally speaking, um, tarot decks, you know what you're getting, uh, after that it's all, you know, it's all about the art and what kind of, you know, relationship you build with the deck based on a combination of how much you like the art and all of, um, and the kind of reads you've, um, enjoyed or, or found fairly uncanny, um, with that deck, so, uh card readers will recommend uh, keeping a log of the various um, spreads you do. Uh, but Oracle decks, I like them just because they have, um, like, you don't always know exactly um, what the cards will be named um, in an Oracle deck, and, you know, so there's a lot of room for variation, and I found that depending on the deck especially, the reads can be a little bit more intuitive. I, uh, this is this is just great. This is great, and yeah, I'm I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna um, go through this like a couple of times, um, see how I feel for it. And I do I do I love I love anything with like black cats on it, <laughs> of course. So uh, this is probably not gonna go anywhere. But, uh, but yeah, this, this is definitely going to get a good amount of views, and thank you so much, and, um, and the party, um, and, okay, so, uh, t-shirt that I bought, and that was in the first part that I'd mentioned, and all the swag and all that, so yeah, um, hopefully I can, um, do more besides urgent care and, some quick groceries tomorrow, so, uh, bats and kisses, and until the next part, until the next part, but the, um, the, uh, the, the, the Detroit concert thing, that's gonna be its own separate, um, video, so that's gonna be separate from, um, the, uh, the, the, the art fair busking weekend, which apparently is cursed. Uh, so, um, it's the 19th of July, and it is about, it's actually much earlier than when I was at this point in being up and about, so it's about quarter after one general vicinity of, and on the good side, if I'm able to, in theory, I've got plenty of time for busking. Note I said if I'm able to, not if I feel like it, because that is the important thing here. It so, um, yesterday I went to the post office, 
got out of the post, uh, picked up my packages, and then left the post office. And then I went, um, um, then I, um, then I started walking in the direction of the bus stop to get back to, um, what's that thing called, uh, game night. Because I noticed that I was at a point where it was either or. I could either do busking or I could do game night. And then I could have gone to game night a little bit late, but no, no. Um, because, like, by the time I got, would have been able to get my accordion out of the bag and everything, I would have maybe five minutes to do anything and, you know, be lucky if some jackass, like, threw his garbage in my bucket, right? So, um, so yeah, I, I had no time for anything. And the thing is, is like, if, if it was not art fair season, I would have had half an hour. Like I said, it was an either-or situation. I could have either um, gone with the plan of busking, but then not had any time to do anything else that I wanted to, or I could have gone to game night, which I'm sure some people might say was the less responsible option, since I'm already extra broke this month. Uh, I have... <laughs> I have just under $10 in my checking account after all other bills go through. Well, all outstanding bills go through, like the ones that I'm still waiting on. Um, so, like, even the chance that I could have come home with $5 might seem slightly more responsible to some people than going to game night. But at the same time, like I said, that five dollars is no guarantee, and after the kind of week I've had up to that point yesterday, I really needed game night. Uh, in fact, by the week I'd had up to game night, I needed game night, because here's where it gets stupid. So, um, so I leave the post office, and I'm on my way to the bus stop. That will be my first bus before I transfer to one of the U uh, and Blue buses. Um, and I think I went over this in part with last night's bit, but I'll decide which one I like best. Um, I, uh, I twisted my ankle. Like, I was not even walking especially briskly. It's just, you know, it's more important to make sure everybody's tent is up for art fair than to make sure that the sidewalk is in decent shape, right? So, um, so yeah, I, I twisted my ankle pretty bad. Um, it's the same ankle that I've sprained almost every year since 1999. I'm actually surprised I have any cartilage at all in that foot. So, that is where I'm at today. While it doesn't um, hurt quite as much as it did when I got home last night. This is also because even though I was sitting through about 90% of game night, I did get up to uh, refill my water bottle and go make other pee pee. But, um, but then what happens? Uh, as, uh, you know, still it's like I was sitting with my foot not elevated and all of that, and then, like, I slept, and, and then I went to bed, and, you know, so, you know, my foot was relatively, you know, in a good position, but, um, but no, the, the swelling really hasn't gone down, um, in fact, it is, it is still very obviously swollen from where I sit, it's, eh or where I stand right now, I'm putting all my weight on the other foot, which... Uh, so, um, so yeah, I'm going to urgent care after I'm done with all of this. On the good side, there is, uh, should be anyway, an urgent care clinic up on Michigan avenue here in ipsy so i don't necessarily need to take the bus to the one out on stadium uh, but yeah so far that looks like my plan today i'm gonna hit up urgent care um if they deem necessary get a splint now i do have a splint from the last time i sprained my ankle unfortunately due to the huge fucking mess isaac left in this place um, where I had stored it afterward was apparently insufficient to avoid Isaac's minions. So, yeah, I had to throw it out because, you know, it just, no, yeah, it just, no, there was no cleaning it at that point. So, yeah, 
I, um, I have no splint. Um, the couple of ones that I had when I moved in here, because I'd, uh, like I said, I'd sprained this ankle, like, pretty much every year since 1999, thereabouts. Um, those splints had, to some extent, rotted, just because, you know, these things are not meant to last forever, it doesn't matter how you, well you store them, um, they will rot at some point, the plastic, or the, uh, the, the weird kind of foam inside the plastic, so I'm like, yeah, whatever, I just, oh, I'll just go get urgent care, leave with a splint, and now I'm sure you're thinking, well, if you were smart, why didn't you just go, you know, get a, get an ambulance to urgent care or ER last night at the, uh, when you sprained your ankle? And I'm like, because I've sprained this same goddamn ankle pretty much every year for 20 years. So, um, so yeah, I know, <laughs> I know the drill. I know the drill. And I'm at a point where if it feels okay, I'm not going to waste more time at urgent care than I feel is necessary. Because I've been through this so many times. It's like, at some point, you just know the drill. And you accept that this is your life now. And you're just like, okay, if it is still feeling like shit tomorrow, then I'll go to the urgent care or whatever and, you know, we'll go from there. But, like I said, it's something that, either way, I should be just fine to go to my concert in Detroit tomorrow. And as far as I'm concerned, like, as long as there is nothing broken in my foot and I still go to the concert tomorrow, that's the important part. Like, cause like I said, I, I, I do this every, I go through this every year. I'm surprised there's still halfway functional cartilage in this foot. Hell, I would not be surprised if this is finally the sprain that has made me lose all functionality in the cartilage of this foot. It's like, no, I, I, I would not be surprised. I would not be surprised if this is finally the spring where I have to wear a splint on this foot for the rest of my life. I, 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 that would not surprise me in the slightest. It just, no, that's, that's just, that's just life. That's just life at this point. Okay, so this is the, uh, the, the last part of this, um, art fair busker vlog. Uh, I did go to uh, Urgent Care, the one here in downtown Ipsy today, and what the hell was that? I don't know. Um, you saw it, right? I don't know. Somebody saw it besides me, I hope. Uh, so yeah, I went down to the Urgent Care here in downtown Ipsy today uh, just because I didn't want to deal... I, I usually go to Ann Arbor Urgent Care just because um, the bus line it's on is fairly convenient to a lot of shit that I do, plus their hours are until 10, whereas the one here in downtown Ipsy is until 7, and, um, I went with the Ipsy one, um, just because I would have had to do the same amount of walking to get to either the bus to the one that I usually go to, or to the one in Ipsy, and, um, and yeah, it is a sprain. It is a sprain. And plus, like, I didn't want to deal with art fair traffic uh, stopping up the bus for whatever reasons. So yeah, I went to urgent care, and uh, it is indeed a sprain. And the, uh, the the doctor took a look at me. She said, you know, like, unfortunately, like, if I've already sprained it once, like back around '99, uh, that does put, open up the uh, the joints to being sprained again just because the ligaments have already been damaged and until something awful happens that I you know will either need surgery or will just be like with 
a splint on this ankle for the rest of my natural life. You know, I'm probably just going to keep spraining it and spraining it. Um, yeah, once it was, one, one year it even happened, like, but I, I, I hadn't even been out of the splint a day, and it sprained again, so that's, that's fun. Um, uh, so tomorrow I'm going to Detroit, I'm going to, um, see, uh, Tim Capello, uh, who you probably, if the name sounds familiar, but you can't place from where, he was, um, the, uh, the featured musician at that big outdoor concert by the, uh, by the, by the boardwalk in, uh, the Lost Boys film and soundtrack. I'm going to bring along my, um, my vinyl record of the soundtrack. Well, I'm not going to bring the record with me just, you know, because I'm going to be on the train heading up there. Just, uh, I'm bringing the jacket. I'm bringing the jacket and the, uh, and the oversleeve and, hey, I did remember where I put the silver sharpie, so, um, so yeah, that's going to be great. Wait, this does show up on dark paper, right? It does not seem to. I will... I have a paint pen in here. I have a paint pen somewhere in this place. If I cannot find it tonight, I will probably stop somewhere um, early enough tomorrow and get one before I have to be on the train. But, so, yeah, ankle definitely sprained. In theory, I could get a couple hours in on Sunday, as was planned, but... As of right now, I'm thinking I don't want to, because that's just, uh, right, it's just, I don't know, this has just been, this, this, this weekend has been a pain and a half, and I got home from, uh, well, first I went to urgent care, and then I immediately went to Kroger, and on my way to the bus stop to get to Kroger, the, shit, on my way to urgent care, the rain was, like, coming down in sheets. It was obnoxious. Um, my big umbrella, that has a hole worn into the top of it, uh, so I don't know if it's gonna be worth finding some scraps that I can patch it with or something, or if I might as well just be, uh... I don't know. If I've got if I've got some scraps that I could use to patch it, I think I'd rather do that just because I've got the uh the E six hundred, E six thousand. Uh I don't know. I've got that uh I've got that uh the 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 fabric fuse um glue to uh to patch it with. I just gotta find some um some nylon kind of fabric or something. I've got some I go nuts for the remnants at Joanne every time I'm in there. Especially if it's on a Saturday or a Sunday, where it's 50% off the Remnants box. But, uh, we're real quick, I'm holding up this card again, because I did look up the, um, the, uh, the St. Joseph's Indian School, and I'd mentioned in a previous segment of this that I was going to look this up because of a lot of the awful history with the, um, with the boarding schools um, for indigenous children in the U.S., and unfortunately, St. Joseph's is amongst the worst that is still operating somehow. Um, granted, it looks like now their, um, their student body is about 200 kids, unfortunately, and I say unfortunately because uh, not even a decade ago, there was a case wherein um, eight former students had um, gotten together to um, expose the... Uh, so, the, the school was founded in 1927 as a Catholic missionary school. So, this obviously was not founded with the intent of any kind of... Um, preservation of native culture, unlike what the back of the card seems to claim. This card is prayerfully sent, which uh, which just made me raise an eyebrow, but I didn't say anything about it in the other part. A residential facility for Lakota Sioux children 
Uh, with God's guidance, St. Joseph's provides an educational spiritual renewal and Lakota cultural development. Now, you might hear that and you think, oh, well, this is doing good things for uh, the Native culture. No, it is not. It is, it is a school that was founded specifically to eradicate Native culture. That is what it was for. I, it, it was founded by Catholic missionaries with the express purpose of converting children, beating them when they would speak their native language. And, you know, and of course in 2010 it comes out, oh yeah, there was sexual abuse going on too, which, you know, being a Catholic missionary school, I'm sure is surprising nobody at this point. But um, I understand that this card was sent to me with the best intent. I really do. I understand that. And I, and I am so grateful for the gifts that came alongside of it. Um, but I, I would urge anybody who, you know, it doesn't even matter, you know, what your religion is. Um, you know, if just, just do not get suckered, like, like the, uh, do not get suckered in by, by this, by this, okay? Uh, again, I understand that the card was sent with the best intent, probably without any awareness of what went behind this. And, you know, the uh, uh, give.org uh, rates various charitable organizations, and they absolutely do not recommend this school um, as being a good place to send your money to. And, um, and you know, in, in addition to the fact that they, uh, that, uh, that, 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 that the school itself has provided fictional letters from students who don't exist as um, what Give.org has described as amongst the worst cases of poverty porn they have ever seen. Uh, they also, the, the school also sells fake dream catchers that were made in Chinese sweatshops, and it's just, I, I, I'm going to link the Wikipedia article because that's really all the attention that, you know, that and anything from Give.org is all the attention this school needs, and again, I, I do, I thank you, I thank you, uh, Curious Cat 1920, the, uh, the Oracle decks, and I do appreciate the irony of, <laughs> of, uh, you know, the Oracle deck and the tarot, and the tarot cards, of course, depending on uh, what conspiracy theories you adhere to, the Catholic Church may have had a not insignificant role in the development of tarot, but that's, that's, that's one of those things that, like, nobody's been able to prove one way or the other, so, um, but yes, I, I do appreciate these, I love these, especially this deck, I love these very much, but I just, I just wanted to make it clear that, um, uh, that, you know, the, uh, the St. Joseph's Indian School, this is not, uh, this is not at all, a uh, decent charity, um, that wishes to, like, truly enrich Native culture. It looks to, it is, it is a school that wants to replace Native culture with German Catholicism. Um, again, the, these, 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 these old boarding schools for Native kids, and, you know, when I grew up, you know, when I was going to Catholic school, of course, you know, we get this very sanitized version of it that, you know, like, oh, well, these were, these were schools that, you know, were offering an education where, um, you know, where, where, like, the Native families couldn't afford it, and it was offered for free, and, and, you know, it was this very sanitized version, and then my high school boyfriend, who, um, I, on his mother's side, there was, uh, there was some Lakota and some... Uh, some center band Cherokee, and uh, on his dad's side was uh, was Shawnee, and I for but I do know on his dad's side was also Irish, <laughs> was also Irish and German. So, uh, but yeah, on his dad's side was was Shawnee in addition to to the uh, tribes on his mother's side. But um, but yeah, uh, you know when I when I learned the ugliness of what these Indian schools were all about. It's just like, it's, it's disgusting. It is absolutely disgusting. And there is no shortage of not only true, but horrible stories from people who were subjected to these schools. And I, I'm not being hyperbolic when I say that they would 
big children for speaking their native language. Like, that's why that, you know, that there's like, that's why so many indigenous languages in the U.S. are, are now no more. Like, you know, they're considered dead languages that, you know, and anything that is known of them is, you know, is treated as kind of a curiosity, linguistically speaking. Um, even amongst the, the tribes that, you know, still um, preserve other aspects of the culture. Um, but yeah, like, th there, there's a reason that, you know, that these, that, and it's, and this is, and this has a not insignificant part in this. Yeah, this is, this has a very significant part in that fact. So, um, so yeah, um, yeah, just, I'm sorry I had a soapbox here for a bit before I, um, you know, when I'm done with this, I'm gonna go, um, just, I'm gonna stop with the YouTube videos, because I'm watching a whole lot of news from shit, and I'm just like, no, no, I'm gonna have a good day tomorrow, and so I'm just gonna watch Lost Boys, and then I'm gonna, um, I don't know, like, start, um, packing just for an overnight, you know, um, over in Detroit, because, yeah, I'm probably gonna be leaving, uh, City Club when they close, or whenever I can find somebody who is willing to, uh, give me a ride back, I don't know, um, if I can't find somebody who's willing to give me a ride back, then I've got, you know, the, uh, the other half of the round trip that will get me back to Ann Arbor, uh, granted, that doesn't leave until about 6 a.m., so, um, and I don't even think the bus starts up on Sunday until 8, so, yeah, that's fun, uh, but yeah, it just, it was raining too much today, that even if I wanted to go out and get in even an hour of street music, I was just like, nope, nope, raining, don't want to try it, my accordion's too old to, <laughs> to make, to make, uh, to make me want to risk getting it wet. It's like, nope, 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 not happening today. Uh, so yeah, if the weather's okay on Sunday, I might get an hour or two in. Um, if it's still raining on Sunday, that the, the, this whole weekend was a bust, except for, um, except for Tim Capello at Shitty Club. So, um, again, thanks so much. Bats and kisses, and... I, I do, I do appreciate the sentiment, um, but yeah, uh, if, if at all possible in the future, just like, please avoid, please avoid this, this is, and, and uh, this was not necessarily intentional, but yeah, this is like, please just, just avoid this place, just, no, there are much... Like, even if you want to give your money to a Christian or explicitly Catholic charity, just, like, there are much better ones than this one. Much better ones. So, so, yeah, like, apparently their idea of Lakota cultural development means, um, eradicating it and replacing it with German Catholicism, so... So yeah, um, like I said, I'm, I'm very sorry that I, you know, felt the need to soapbox this, but, um, but yeah, I, uh, um, I, I, as a non-native, I take indigenous issues very seriously because, um, well, because when you think, of, like, my, my dad used to go on these rants about how, uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, one of the one of the less crazy things my dad used to say, <laughs> but still very spot on, is that like, oh, there's two kinds of Irish in, in America. Uh, there's the kind who are there's a, there's a kind who are who are sucking the 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 teat of the um, of the conservatives, and they're the ones who understand the natives. And I'm like, but when you think about it, when you think about it with the, like, the whole thing, like, including, um, you know, like, trying to wipe out the language and the culture, it's, like, I, I understand where he was coming from with that, so, again, um, again, apologizing if this sounds a little bit soapboxy for, uh, a little bit too soapboxy for some people, um, but, yeah, I just, I, I, I had to... Uh, bring this up to people in case they were unaware. So, 
um, and ostensibly uh, Curious Cat, 1920. I, I do, I appreciate, I do, I do love the sentiment, and it's very, very sweet. I love the cards so much. I, I love the decks so much, but the the green card, I, I wish, I wish it had been made by better people. So you know, where is it? It came from you, and you are much better people than even the best of these people. So um, again. All right, bats and kisses, and take care of yourselves, and goodbye.